Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew and this is the Just a Guy Linux YouTube channel. I uh, just wanted to correct something. I, last time I said that I was going to be doing a video uh, that was going to be about tiling and key bindings and I'm going to opt out of that one and make that for part four of XFCE and in part three of XFCE we're going to be doing launchers. Okay. So what I want to do is the simplest way to do a launcher, and that is to just attach it to um, your panel, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to Panel Preferences, and I'm going to go ahead to the Items, and I'm going to add a launcher, okay, and add, okay? I'm just going to do one or two. Let's do two, actually, okay? And notice there are two launchers, and they can be seen right here in this uh, part of the panel. And I'm going to go ahead and move them. And now you can do it manually and just kind of go all the way up so that it's next to the menu. <clears throat> or you can drag it all the way up so that it's next to the menu. Okay? And there are two. And sometimes you, like I know that I would put maybe a separator between, but let's just go ahead and um, and edit this. So I'm at the first launcher and I'm going to click on this little icon that says edit currently selected item. Okay. And I'm going to add about, let's say my Firefox browser is the one that I want uh, to be, have a launcher and hit add. Now I can add something else here too. Let's just say I don't think I have another browser internet. Yeah, but let me just go ahead and, and put something in. So I can add something else and it can be, oh, because I've got this, never mind. Let's say I add uh, HTOP, that's because it's right there. Okay, now it's got both of these. So I can go ahead and switch between these two because it gives me the option to do so. I mean, for most people, I would say just keep one um, launcher, you know, one uh, application per launcher. It's just simple that way, okay? And then the second one, I'm going to use my terminal, okay? And if I had a third, I probably would put in um, my uh, file manager. So there's two things right there, boom, boom. If you want to add some space in between this menu and uh, the launcher, you can just simply go add, separator, okay, close. And let me go ahead and put that all the way at the top in between the whisker menu and the launcher. Notice there's a line there. Now you don't have to have the line. You can actually edit that and say, all right, I want it transparent or I want handle. Let's go handle and there you go. So I can add as many separators as I want. Basically it's one pixel, you know, unless you decide to expand it, okay? And that's gonna mess it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and expand. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not, that doesn't get it done. So basically you, you want it just one pixel and maybe it be transparent. And that way it kind of like keeps it away from your uh, start menu. Okay. So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to panel preferences and I'm gonna unlock the panel. And I'm gonna move it all the way up here and relock it for now. Okay. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, start a terminal. And I'm going to uh, say sudo apt install plank. Now we're going to add, though, so what we're doing here basically is creating a much more kind of modern look, all right? Something that you would see on a more um, cool application, a cool like Linux distribution like elementary or even Mac OS. So I'm going to go and install the plank. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to menu and type PLA. There's plank right there. And boom. 
So while it's open like this, I am going to, uh, uh, if I want to change something, so it's not going to, uh, mine is already changed. Uh, I thought it would be, I thought it would, the preferences would have um, been gone, but it's keeping the preferences that I made before. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do preferences. If I can spell preferences. Okay. Notice the theme is transparent. By default, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be default. And you want it to be position. And I've also changed the icon uh, size. Maybe yours was bigger. I think it was like 48 or something like that. But you can see how big it can get. So I'm going to put it like at 38. Yeah, that's good. And then if you want to, you can say zoom or not. So if it, you know, if you don't want it to zoom, see how it just kind of like shades. But I'm going to go and put zoom and make it just very little on um, zoom. Okay. And then I want to, uh, as far as docklets, I added a desktop, which is right here. And then you can choose any of these things, even if you want a trash can. So if you want a trash can, it pops up right there. And let me empty the trash real quick. And let's say, um, did I even do that? Let's say I want to move this. Oh, I guess it's taking some time, all this stuff. There you go. Um, let's say I want to move something. I can go ahead and move it to where I need it to go. All right. As far as preference, uh, appearance rather, I'm going to change it back to transparent. And that's good. Okay. So what I want to do also is I want to add, I'm going to remove this whole bar and just have this stuff down here. So what I want to do is add a um, another uh, panel. And I'm going to go say I'm going to go plus here. And I'm going to move this all the way to the bottom. Okay. And there's only going to be one thing in this and that's going to be whisker menu and I'm going to add that boom okay so let's just let's change the display stuff all right I'm gonna go ahead and re and um, lower the row size to so that it's about the same size as these here I'm also going to uh, check this off and I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Okay. I want to click on don't reserve space on borders. And as far as appearance is concerned, I'm going to use a solid color. And this is how you are going to create a transparent background color. So see how this is black. What I want to do is basically pick I want to say select background. Sorry. I want to um, say custom. That's what I want to do. So custom. And then I'm going to move this all the way down so that it's black. Zero, 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 zero. And then I want to put this as transparent and hit select. Okay. So this should be transparent at this point. Okay, it's going to be hard to see, but and as far as display is concerned, I want to go in and uh, as far um, so I want to change the icon and make it Debian and make it maybe this Debian. Okay, and so notice also that in this start menu. Okay, these are, um, it, this is going to give you the standard um, layout for Whisker Menu. So if you want, you can, you know, make this bigger. You can, as far as behavior is concerned, you want the uh, categories to be next to the panel button. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I like it that way better. And then I want to switch categories by hovering. 
so that when I hover over something it changes. Okay, that sounds good. That looks good. Okay. And as far as that is concerned, I'm, that is done. Okay. Now I want to go over here to panel one. And I'm going to move this down to here with transparent background. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to remove the whisker menu here. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove the launcher. I'm going to remove the second launcher. And I'm going to remove the, hmm, maybe I'll leave the separator for now. And as far as display is concerned, I'm going to change the length so that it, it shows everything. Maybe I do need to take this separator out. Let me remove that. Okay. I also, this is going to be big. Let me show you what I mean. So I want to, um, oh, don't reserve, and I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to have to actually change the length. And then I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to drag it down here. And see, it's too big. So how do I accomplish, how do I make it smaller? Well, there's a couple things. I can do away with this switcher completely. Or I can go to the switcher um, and I can make it, let's say, two rows. Oops. And I also, let's just start with that for now. And then let's go to the clock because that's a really long field. And let's just change it so that, see, notice that the tool tip, so if I want to go ahead and let me, let me do this. I mean, I'm going to copy this and put this under the tool tip and then paste that, okay? And now I just want maybe just the time, okay? And close. So. Let's decrease the size now. Yep. Good. And as far as appearance is concerned, we also want to use the solid background color. And we want to use this custom transparent. Does that, does that look transparent? Uh, and then let's go ahead and as far as, oh, oh, I want to do this. I want to lock the panel and lock the panel. Huh. Oh, there's an outline there and I'm not sure why. Maybe it has to do with um, an item. Oh, there you go. Okay, it was open. All right, so now we've got all this stuff. This, by the way, if I wanted to, and I'm like, like say I want my settings manager here. Notice I can also just kind of keep it in the dock so that when I do close it, I can then retrieve it. Uh, quickly from the dock. Okay. <clears throat> One more thing. I want to show you what is called U Launcher. All right. Now, I want to. Um, I just opened up my browser, but it didn't. There it is. Okay. And U Launcher is. I think it's already installed, but let me go ahead and, and install the whole thing just to be. You know, to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on that and save. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and install. Oh, by the way, it's it's this is going away. And if you don't want that to go away, you know, see how that like IntelliHides. 
Okay, you can go into terminal plank preferences. and behavior, so it IntelliHides. I don't want it to, I just want it to like, I don't want it to hide at all, you know? So I keep stuff there, oh, that's fine. All right, and I want to open up my um, file manager and go to d downloads. I have two here, so I'm going to delete one. And by the way, you can do this. So you can say open terminal here. Notice that it gets the uh, downloads directory. And to follow the direction here, it says sudo apt install dot slash u launcher. So we want to sudo apt install dot slash u launcher and it's already done so uh, you know just so you know that's how you do it okay and since it's here in your um, menu you can go ahead and click on it and it does show uh, over here in your um, in your bar preferences I have it under elementary dark. Elementary light is the um, is the default, and I'm going to click on launch at login. Okay. So what I do is I'm going to go ahead and close this and hit, and I'm going to close everything. So when I hit Control Space, that that launcher bar comes up. And so what I want to do is show you, I want to go back to dark actually, okay, just so that you can see and hit control space. So you have a nice clean uh, launch bar. Say you want to find something that's an application on your machine, say Chrome or Firefox or something like that. I don't have Chrome, but I do have Firefox and notice I, when I just type FIR, rather than have to go all the way over here and find it or even here, I can find it really quickly by just typing F-I-R-E and then hit enter, okay? And then it just launches for me, all right? So control space and say I want to find, I don't want to go to, um, I know you can do this easily it's from, your, um, from your browser bar, but if you want to do it this way, you can just say um, baseball and notice here it says Google search so I'm just going to click on that and automatically it shows baseball as my Google search and, and the Google search result okay uh, that's it for now I think everything will work oh one more thing you're gonna have to put plank in your auto start so how do you do that start session and startup okay application auto start U launcher is there so the next time we log in and plank is there so let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like edit so on login the name is plank the command is plank so next time we log in this is going to be there okay all right guys talk to you soon next time we'll do the tiling and key binding